Welcome back to another episode of Brand Out Consulting. Today we're going to be talking about bombs. All right, so we're going to go to our bill of materials and we're going to create a new bill of material today. Now, um, if we've followed our map, what we have done is we've put in all of the individual items at this point. So now we're going to build our bill of material. So right here, we're going to add P50. And if I go to any other box, it's going to ask me to create a new item. And this is actually going to create a new item in our master files in our items. But for right now, it's just going to ask very uh, basic information. And we're going to go ahead and put in item type will automatically be marked as assembled. Default unit of, me of measurements is going to be each and each. And now this one does not have a sub assembly, so we're not going to mine this box on this one. For revision number, we can put one, A, whatever it is, however it is that you number yours. Under description, reorder quantity, allocated reserve, maximally last maintained, material cost, all of this is going to be grayed out. Um, for allocated and reserved, we can deal with those later. Um, but this is what we're going to build today. We are going to do the cost breakdown. Auto build is the first field that we're going to deal with. And we're actually going to keep it never until we go back and do the auto build. And we can adjust that later, which we will once we start putting together all of our bills of material and get into scheduling and all that. But for right now, we're going to keep it as never. Build quantity. Okay, so this is how many items are made from your bill of materials. And this is actually going to give us six when we put together this current bill of material because we're making a basic pencil, which is two slats of wood, six lines of graphite, and wood glue. So it's actually going to build us six pencils and our assembly lead. Now this is in days. You can only use whole numbers. And how many units per lead? So we're going to say that we can do 600 of these in a day or it'll be 100 builds. And that's the quantity that we're going to get. We're going to uh, cost roll up enabled. That's going to be clicked as a default. We're going to leave it that way. Okay. So now we're going to move on to notes. Notes is obviously anything that we need to put in. Here's your documents form, just like on items or anything else. So here's our revision tab. At this time, we really don't need to do a whole lot with this tab, except for we want to mark current revision. Now, anything else can be put on here if you choose to. This is the engineering change order number. Um, this is the effective times if you only want this to run to a certain date or a certain time and any documents that you need to put on here again. So now we're going to move to our materials tab. On our materials tab is where we're going to put our items to create our build material. So we come over here to add and we're going to add our wood. And with these, we have two slats of this. We have two slats of the wood. So required quantity, we're going to put two. Each, here's our unit cost, which is already input. Lead days, we can change that here. Comments, operation number. All right, now we're going to add our graphite in here. Graphite, which is down here on P31. And for this, we need six. Six strips of graphite. And again, it puts our unit costs in here, extended costs. And for our final, we're going to put in wood glue. Wood glue. Right. And because we need two stripes here, two stripes of glue, that's what we're going to do. All right. And now we have it built. Now, if we go back here, here's our assembled costs. Now this tab for routing only shows up if you have the shop floor control module. We're not going to do anything with that at this time. We're just going to stick with the simple bill of materials today. Bill of manufacturing. Okay, so this has a breakdown of all your different items. 
right, production locations tab. Now this is anything that is currently in the works. So if you have a, a bill of material that is being built, this is where it's going to show up or if it has been built. So for right now, this is going to remain blank and work orders and manufacturing orders will show up as it gets populated more anyway. So that's how to build a simple bill of material. We can get into far more detail once we get into the shop floor module, but for now that's going to do it for us. If any of this has been helpful for you, please like, share, subscribe, and please comment below. Let us know if there's anything else that you guys would like to know. Thanks.